Hi folks, on my way to pick up my daughter from practice, I figured I'd do a quick situational awareness video. Here I am arriving at the field. Now I'm gonna look at the parking lot before I pull in, just to kind of get a quick scan of what's going on. I'm pulling in here. Obviously there are a bunch of parking spots available. I actually like to park away from people if I can. My kids hate it when I do that because that means they have to walk. But this is how it is, right? So I'm going to pull up in here and I'm actually going to try to stay relatively far away as much as possible from the other cars. And obviously when, the, when it gets closer to the end of practice, more cars are going to come in. I'm not going to park a mile away. I'm not going to do the, you know, the uh, Clark Griswold Wally World where he parks 17 miles away so he can get out quickly when they're ready to leave. I'm not gonna do, I'm not that bad. I like to leave some space. So if you can see, I'm not really that, I'm still kind of close, but I'm far enough that I can watch people and just see what's going on. Of course, I don't expect any problems here because this is all like soccer moms and soccer dads and they're here to pick up their kids or they're here to bring their kids. It's a huge soccer field. There's there's multiple fields here. So you see drop-offs, you see people parking like me, waiting. And I just like to back in, you know, that tactical back in where so we can just pull out when we need to. I don't always do it, but I try to do it when I can. And I'm just watching what's going on around me. I'm looking in my mirrors as I sit here and I just see what's going on. If anybody approaches me, and I'm just ready for anything. Now, I don't expect any problems here, but if you get in the habit of doing this, wherever you are, then you'll just do it. It'll just come naturally to you. You'll do it when you don't really have to, but the thing is, you don't know when you have to, right? So I don't know if some person's gonna come up here and try to approach my car and ask me for money or try to carjack me. You just don't know. And it doesn't happen too often around this location, but again, you never know. You want to get into that muscle memory, that habit of doing it wherever you are. But one thing I did think about, uh, most people don't know what it's like to fire a gun from a vehicle. And when I was in the state police, we did that as part of our training. We actually had an old troop car at the range and it was shot up a little bit. And we would do drills where we would sit in the car two, two at a time usually. And we would do different drills, whether you just drew your gun and fired, uh, the windows were open, sometimes they were closed. And we would try different drills about while sitting in the car. And what you would realize is that, you know, you want to keep your uh, cover is going to be your engine uh, compartment area, of course. Uh, your doors really aren't going to provide much protection. I mean, if you have big, thick doors, you know, there's a chance they could stop around depending on, you know, what type of round it is, what kind of, you know, what's being fired at you. But I wouldn't rely on the door to stop any rounds. Of course, the engine compartment to stop rounds if you need to duck or get under. But the training was excellent in that it taught you to draw while seated in your car. Now, the first thing we had to do is we had our seatbelts on. So the first thing we had to do was take our seatbelts off. Some guys initially, for the first time, didn't think about it and tried to draw their gun while wearing their seatbelt. Very difficult, if not impossible, to do that. So just something to think about, actually having to shoot from a sitting position in your car. And like I said, we used to do this as part of training and it was uh, it was very interesting now we're in uniform we have our, our guns on you know in a holster duty holster uh level three so you know and you had your seatbelt on so of course the first thing you had to do was unhook your seatbelt and then draw and wherever the threat was you had to engage from a seated position so obviously it's just i'm telling you this folks to just try to be aware when you're in your car if you're in traffic you're gonna have your seatbelt on. So if you do have to use your gun, obviously most likely the first thing you're gonna to have to do is take your seatbelt off. And hopefully it won't come to that. Hopefully you'll have, if you keep enough distance between you and the other vehicle, hopefully you'll always have an out to escape with your vehicle. Now, sometimes you have 
cars on both sides of you, you don't have an out. You're kind of stuck, right? And even if you're a good distance away from that car, you might be able to pull up or back up, but you can't really escape. So, you know, you got to keep that in mind as well. You might not have any choice. You might have not have anywhere to go. But some things to keep in mind, it is different shooting from a seated position in a car. And if you can get that training, I know some ranges, some instructors do offer it. I know it's kind of a unique thing. You, you'd have to have, obviously, an old car that you didn't care if it got shot up. It would have to be under the most safest conditions, meaning, you know, a good instructor, maybe a range safety officer watching. So everybody is on the same page because it can get dangerous, but it's excellent training if you can get it. And it just gives you a different perspective, a different, it's kind of like shooting, lying down or kneeling or in a seated position uh, at the range. It's just, it's just shooting your gun in different conditions that you're not used to. So it just, it, I, I think, I think that kind of training, shooting your gun in different environments, different conditions, uh, just makes you more comfortable overall. And then when you're in traffic, if you ever have that thought, geez, what if I have to use my gun while I'm sitting in my car? You'll at least have somewhat of an idea how it's going to go, right? As far as the, the motions with, I got to take my seatbelt off. I have to get to my gun if it's under my clothing and I have to draw it safely and fire it. And I have to keep in mind that I'm, I'm going to duck behind cover. It's going to be that post or the engine block. If possible, the door is not going to be necessarily stop around it might it might not i wouldn't rely on the door anyway folks just some some thoughts on seeing you're sitting in your car and thinking about different scenarios till next time thanks for watching take care and stay safe